Hey there everyone, and welcome back to more Let's Play Jade Cocoon 2 Blind. In our previous episode, we continued exploring Earth Erosion, and once we made it to the third island within this forest, we ended up catching up with Vanilla, who is a member of the Sweet Knights that was actually missing, and supposedly Choco was looking for her, but we ended up running into Choco as well, who told us a little bit about some of the power struggles that were going on among the different members of the Sweet Knights, but anyway, it kind of came out that she wasn't really looking for Vanilla, she just wanted to get away from Coconut, so we continued looking for her, we found her, and it was quite a meeting, if I do say so myself. So anyway, let's continue chatting with her, although I think I've honestly heard enough. Hey, hey, that tail's so nice. I'm jealous. I want a tail. Let me cut it off for you. Let's operate, operate, okay? Just how serious is she? I think she's missing a few screws. You're pretty loose yourself. I think you've really taken a shine to her, no? Hey, three's company, Nico, so you should count yourself among us. I like your tail. Your cassette tail. Vanilla wants one. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm done talking to her. Woo, okay, well, these sweet nights. I don't know. Honestly, Kakona seems to be the most normal. And then Cinnamon, she seems kind of bitchy, but at least she <laughs> sounds normal. I don't know what's up with people faking accents. Like, it just, I don't know. It's really strange to me. If someone can actually successfully execute doing a foreign or different accent, then that's fine. But I don't know. I don't like it when people fake English or Australian or Indian or Hispanic accents if they can't do it. Like, just just don't do it. Southern accents are another one where my husband, especially since he is from Arkansas, he can always tell if someone's kind of faking or trying to make fun of him, even though he himself doesn't really have an accent. I don't know. It's just, it's really, really bizarre, I think. But... I know not everyone means harm from it. For some people, it's fun to pretend to have different accents, but I, I don't know. I think it's strange, honestly. Especially if you're trying to make a game like this. It's like, if you want someone to have a genuine English or Australian or Irish or whatever accent, just find someone who naturally has the accent or at least have them practice <laughs> before you record. Like, I swear, Choco sounds like they just grab someone off the streets and they're like, hey, can you pretend to do this? We'll pay you for it. And she was like, oh, yeah, of course. And then now. Vanilla's is barely better. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Are you Gaga over the sweet nights, too? Gaga? Aren't you a sweet nights fan? How odd. Those useless beast hunters are pretty popular. I'm Gaga over Cinnamon. Cinnamon, she's so nice. Her cold demeanor is totally cool. She's just very stoic, probably. Hey, hey, who are you Gaga over? Huh? Who am I Gaga over? This idiot doesn't know one from another. That's not true. But I don't know exactly what each one is like. Okay, then make it Cinnamon. Cinnamon's so nice. I recommend her. <laughs> Did we just get an action figure? Wow. Should I? Don't get stressed over it. Well, okay. Oh, we don't even get a key score? It's just a random encounter? Okay, we've got to see if it'll let us... Would it be invaluable? No. <laughs> this game's like, we're not counting her as valuable. I don't know where this... Oh, it's a figure. How many fucking different cinnamon action figures are there? Can I look at it? <laughs> wow. What the fuck you got? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to zoom in that closely on her. I definitely think her VA, her voice actress, is the best out of the girls like she sounded 
confident and actually seem to fit her character. Oh my god, I just want to... Oh my gosh, this is not as intuitive as you guys would think. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's enough of that. Let's zoom out. As far as designs are concerned, though, I think I like... Maybe I like Kokona's design? Not sure about the baggy pants. Anyway, whatever. That is really weird that we get their action figures. All right, just another thing for us to collect, I suppose. Did you know that the street knights are trading in the forest? If I hang around here, I might be cinnamon. Hmm, quite an ardent fan. Or maybe a stalker. That's what I was gonna say. Cinnamon should get a restraining order. Gaga, gaga. Ugh, okay. <laughs> well, if you had to pick one, I guess, to obsess over, she's probably good. All right, did I miss any other pathing? No. Okay, so let's find this boss. And we have two Kalma. So that's good. I feel like this has been a good trek. Oh, are you the storage guy? This is an unusual place. Want to buy anything? Oh, the shopkeeper can sometimes appear too? I don't even know what's going on. Well, whatever. Let's just sell some shit. And, oh, maybe I should have kept those flawed stones, actually. Well, whatever. Who the fuck cares? Okay. Let's see if he has any goodies for us. Oh. Jesus, that's expensive. Oh. Yeah, we can't afford that. But I'm not interested in the books. We'll go ahead and hold on to our money. Crap. 500 yen. You guys are crazy. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, I should thank you. You're the one who gave me money. I didn't buy anything from you. But that shit was way too expensive. I'm not paying 500 yen for that. Oh, please be a comma. Yes. I like that mask. It's so cute. It might be my favorite so far. I wonder which divine beast these masks like since we know that different ones like different monsters uh, I really need to hmm get buddy's mana up but I guess it's okay oh shit is he like storing his energy or something we gotta put that shit to sleep and he's poisoned so that's good all right, I might take a couple rounds to regen some mana. I imagine the boss is coming soon, and as long as the poison doesn't just randomly wear off, this thing should die on its own, and Buddy should hopefully restore enough mana to where we should be in good shape. That or if we find one of those flowers. Oh yeah, okay. I'm just gonna keep spamming our heal then, and I think we'll be in good shape. The poison should tick him down all the way. Uh, maybe one more round here. Oh, shit. That actually did some decent damage. But that's okay. We're spamming heals anyway. Might as well get something from it, right? And he's dead. Perfect. So I think that's the third Kalma that we've actually found since coming back to Earth Erosion. I think that's great. And we're going to have two merging sessions to have here. Okay, perfect. I am not going to complain about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope we... Yes, we have initiative. So this guy is toast. Although it kind of sucks because I just spent some time storing up mana for Buddy. And now I pretty much am wasting it. But I guess that's fine. Alrighty, so let's see what the boss here is gonna be like. The one that we saw, where was it? In the wind slash air forest? Whatever. It looked like Volcarona from Pokemon. I think that's a Gen 5 Pokemon, Volcarona. Nevertheless, it's like this giant fire moth looking thing. Whoa! This is fucking creepy. Oh man. Whoa! Holy crap! That's actually.
actually unnerving. What? I wonder if we can eventually get some of these bosses. Oh shit, it does so much damage. All right, well if we can put it to sleep, maybe get a heal or two off. Oh shit, this may take a while and it didn't get poisoned. Okay. All this. <laughs> that animation. Gosh. That was pretty cool, you guys, I have to say. I'm impressed. I wish we had a little bit of backstory, though, for these bosses. Like, why are they here? Why do we have to fight them in order to get the rings that take us to the next level of the forest? Like, are these Kalma? Or what's, what's the deal? I don't know, but it would be nice to get something. Maybe if I speak to Levant after clearing all of the first levels of the various forests, we'll learn a little bit more. I'm not sure at what point more conversations open up. Oh, I'm a little nervous about this. We can get him back asleep. Now that he's poisoned, I feel a bit more confident. Yeah, we only have a generic attack now because we're out of mana on Buddy. Jeez, why you do so much damage, you asshole? It's probably a sign that I need to do some more. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Oh my god, please don't die. Oh. Alright, this is making me nervous. <laughs> it honestly is. I think we have this one, though. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, oh. oh my god, you guys. This is not good. No, and now Walter's not gonna get any mana. Oh, or any XP. Oh my god. Stay asleep, stay asleep. Fuck me. Okay. No items? Oh, I guess all the stuff that I have can't be used in battle. Oh shit. Well, I'm gonna have to just pray for a lot of sleeps. That's the only thing that's gonna save me, and thank god for that crit. Oh my god, please get another sleep off. <laughs> Never thought I would love the sleep spam. And this thing's not using any of its mana, it seems. God, stop focusing, buddy, you asshole. Oh, my God. Okay, I think we got this one, though. Between the poison and even though it's just a generic attack from buddy, I think it's dead. Oh, my God. Please don't kill buddy. Please don't kill buddy. Please don't kill... Oh, oh, oh. He's dead. Oh, thank God. Woo! I feel so bad I let Walter die. I'm such a terrible beast hunter. Oh. I feel awful. Oh, that was so much XP, too. Well, we got Earth Lurk. Cool. Garroot. Cute gem. And a lovely gem. Fabulous. Okay, well, let's check out... Wait, what's it saying? Oh, it's just showing that he's dead. <laughs> I feel so bad. Okay. All right, the Gera root ups Gera strength. Do we have a Gera? No. I don't even know what the hell a Gera is. <laughs> I got to get my shit together and figure out what is what. But, okay, good. Aw, it's good for a present. I like some of these descriptions. Uh, tracks attention. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well... It was a struggle, <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> Woo, that's probably a sign that I need to do some merging ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. All right, but whatever. We're not going to dwell. <laughs> we survived, and that's what matters. So I guess let's just go ahead and then do what we did last time when we finished going through the air force. Oh, not air, wind. The reason why I keep calling it air is because that's what it was in Jade Cocoon 1. So I'm not sure why they switched it. Uh, honestly, I really don't know, but they did, so. It's another one of those little arbitrary changes, I suppose, kind of like how they used to be called minions and now they're called divine beasts. The road to the orbs oh, he's still long. not saying anything new? If you pass the I guess Levant's going. not really intended to be that it's active of a here. character. At least maybe not until later when we it. collect all of the orbs to remove Kahu's tail. I don't know. I'm honestly, though, surprised because you would think as we're meeting more people and beating the different levels of the elements, or I guess the forests, 
that new things would unlock with him or he would comment on, oh, I see you met the Sweet Knights or, oh, yes, Dr. Gill, he's a crazy motherfucker. But Levant says nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, you two assholes still. Well, I, revenge, what? I was defeated in the dark arena at the... Oh, you need 140? I don't have that, so... I can't do a lot of these. I feel so worthless, you guys. Well, let's chat with these folks while we're here. Sweet nights. We're Gaga. Uh, Gaga? It means we love you. We're always Gaga over the sweet nights. Gaga, Gaga, Gaga. There's no need to go off and echo yourself. <laughs> Kahu was so annoyed. What kind of divine beast do you use? Can't you tell by looking? I am an odd beast hunter. What are odds? Awesome? The strong? Strong? Are they strong? Don't ask ridiculous questions. Odds are the strongest! Great physical strength. A body of steel. Many strong special attacks. And more than anything, that hard face that intimidates the enemy. A beast among divine beasts. That is the odd. Remember that. Ah, indeed. <laughs> He's so passionate. I love it. All right, guys. Let's hit up the room of life. Let's give her all of these comma. And I guess we can look at mm, what we want to do with the merging. But I don't know if we have enough time in this episode to really do it. So, okay. Well, we got MASH, <laughs> which is very cute. Uh, Tama Q. Did I say Tama O earlier? I think that's a Q. It looks like a Q to me. So Tama Q. And then Helicone. Alright, so we got 150 yen and 15 more reputation, which is awesome. I also wonder if we should go and maybe try to fight someone else in the battle arena, the Beast Hunter Wars. We might want to look at doing that. Um, Alright, well anyway, we have two things that we can merge here. We've got Kraken over here as well as Krusty. And I may want to actually look at doing some things with, well, Luther, Extra, and Francine are still a little bit away from 15 since I'm leaving them in the kennel. So I won't be able to do too much with them in our next episode, but that's okay. I think it'll work out just fine. So anyway, let's go ahead and just part ways here right now so that we can just immediately dive right into merging some more in our next video. So thank you, as always, for watching, everyone. I absolutely appreciate your support, and I am so glad to be playing this for you. And I will see you in just a moment when we come back together in our next video.